My name is Arwen Folks and I am the chairperson of Nanstallen Preschool um, and I was the person who wrote the business plan to get the capital money to enable us to relocate to a new building. We needed a new building because um, although we've been very well looked after by the Methodist Chapel in Nanstallen, we've got outdoor toilets and had real problems maintaining the temperature and at our last Ofsted inspection they came and they recommended that these things needed improving and whilst we looked to improve where we were it, it proved to be very difficult so that was when we started talking to family services about um, what, we, what other options there were available to us. Unfortunately the headmaster here at Nanstall and um, County Primary School was very keen for us to relocate up here and that's how it all began. You'll see in a minute how all this goes together when you look at the um, 3D package that, that Alvin's um, Nan District Playgroup um, is 20 years old in January and we've always been in the village chapel room um, and we've just outgrown the facilities there. The children haven't got enough space and we need outdoor play areas and it is also very cold in the winter. And at the moment our toilets are outside so we have to escort the children out through the cold and the rain to go to the toilet was inside toilets, um, kitchen facilities, office facilities, everything like that will just be brilliant. We've seen it on the DVDs and that, but now to actually see the blocks and the fact this is our building in this storeroom is you know, actually incredible and to see this, you know, how it's done. And they're only young children, but I think even that, you know, seeing them actually you know, put the wall into the building, they'll be able to actually see how a building is built differently from just the bricks and actually see how the building is done and they, a lot of them go up to the school and we'll see it actually go up being put together would be good. It's where we should all be going so to be part of that movement that's, that's a benchmark for other nurseries, schools, organisations is, is lovely, it's a really good feeling. Very excited, I can't wait, I want to be in it tomorrow. It's about 10 o'clock on Monday, uh, glue lambs have arrived and uh, we're just laying them out on site ready for erection. We had to look into all different solutions that were available to us um, in terms of building a whole new building um, and really the, the work was looking at the market research, finding out whether we could actually expand and in, increase our hours and actually get the children coming but the main priority was to make sure that we had our children warm and dry and able to go to the loo indoors. Okay, it's uh, 12 o'clock Monday, so we've just finished measuring all the blue lambs and we've laid them all out ready for fixing them up together. Right, this is uh, day two. As you can see, uh, we're putting up the post and beams now. We've completed our first rail, making great time. Uh, as you can see, it's beautiful weather, really helping us out. Uh, by the end of today, we're hoping to uh, get the second aisle up. And uh, end of tomorrow, we're looking like maybe putting uh, floor panels in. Great stuff. I know that um, there are other capital monies available for preschools for similar improvements or relocations and I've got to say um, I would highly recommend going down this road. I think the whole process has been so informative um, and educational as well as the fact that we're just going to have a staggeringly beautiful building for our children to be in. Um, I, would, yeah, I, would, I would seriously recommend anybody, even if they are looking down the other route, to actually at least give, give both you know, full and proper consideration. As you can see we're now fixing the floor panels, um, we're probably a third of the way through now so so far great success. The day's going very well, um, by the end of the day we're hoping to get the ridge beams up, all is going good. Actually I've got to say UK Fab have been fantastic, 
in making sure that we've got a constant dialogue going on um, and that we're able to really you know, make that happen with the children. I think it might have been more difficult with, um, with other project managers who maybe wouldn't have seen the, the merit or value in doing that. We brought the children up here this morning to see how their new preschool is going. And it's absolutely brilliant. The floor panels are going in and it's gone up so fast this last week. I don't think the children quite believe how fast it's going up. Uh, we've had a great day today. Uh, all the floors are in now. Um, as it's quite late, we're just putting in the last uh, wrist beam tonight. Uh, finish the rest on Monday. The weather is starting to close in now, so uh, we're trying to crack on and brace what we've uh, all the beams we've put in. But uh, overall, we've had a great day. Everyone's very happy, we're very tired. It's uh, late afternoon now, we're just, well, just putting up the last rail of the uh, flat roof. Um, the guys over there are putting in the first flat roof panels now. Uh, we're hoping to get two thirds of the flat roof panels done today. Um, it's going to be quite bad weather tonight, so we're a bit concerned about that. Wet, windy, depressed. Today went fine. Um, the weather was a bit indifferent, but overall. Great job by the boys, the panel's gone in very well. One more day left to put the, all the modules in now and looking forward to tomorrow. I have to say that this process, we've, we've just been kept informed, it's been seamless. We had a committee meeting last night and we were all touching wood because we can't believe how easy, how well things have gone so far and we're just really hopeful it carries on like that. Um, Ecofab have sorted everything, absolutely everything. Um, they've consulted with us at every stage, we've even been able to choose the colour of the windows but they, we haven't actually had to do an awful lot in terms of um, the actual managing the project itself. It has been absolutely seamless and I hope it continues in that vein. <laughs> It's gone up so quick, I think it's absolutely staggering. Um, the height of the building, I can't believe how high it is, the views that we've got, which, you, which are over there, are just going to be amazing. Um, the whole thing, I mean, when you go inside, it's like a cathedral, it's just beautiful, it's just absolutely beautiful. I can't wait to see it completed, but I'm, I'm sure I'll be coming back again to have a look before then. Everything about it, the fact that it's um, local people doing it, the fact that um, all of the resources where possible are sourced from local suppliers, um, along with the sheep's wool and the, and the, um, the straw to keep the heating in, um, and also now we're actually going down the route of looking to get photovoltaics for the, for the, for the, um, for the roof so that we can be actually carbon neutral. Um, yeah, amazing, and I think the children as well have had such a learning opportunity to learn about all of this um, and to understand, and I think it's yeah, just, just fantastic, really. The, um, the building's just gone up so quick this last week. I saw the first panel go on this morning and I've seen the last panel of the roof go on, the apex bit go on tonight, or well, this afternoon, it's only now, it's two o'clock, and it's just absolutely brilliant the speed at which that's gone on. You know, if, any, if anybody's doing a build, not just schools, but or preschools particularly, um, if they've got the right place to put it, and, you know, it's just a, such a sustainable building. Um, I would recommend it to anybody. I mean, our children are two to four years old, and many people would say that um, it's quite difficult to consult or to liaise with them. But I have to say, the children are so excited about this building. And once we're watertight, I believe they're going to be able to come up and come inside. We've got a big road in the in the playgroup that's showing where they are at the moment and where we'll be travelling to. And I think they are genuinely very excited and actually understand what's going on. As you see, we're now inside. The children have had a fantastic time filling sample on the floor heating panel. You can see that we're getting close now to decorating. We've got quite a lot to do but um, 
think we're uh, on target, on schedule at the moment. felt that we needed to move quickly and so we were looking at modular options at that point because we felt that they were the most cost effective and, be, and let us in the quickest. Well some of us were kind of hesitant about actually going down the road with Ecofab however once we actually all thought about it thought we'd actually hear them out and actually I have to say they were pretty persistent because they lived just down the road but once we, um, we went in they actually gave us a cost by cost comparison of their project and our project and, and, and the one that we'd written with the porter cabin type building and actually there was just no question, there was no question, everybody walked out of that meeting absolutely sold on the idea um, and really excited about the fact that we could have such an amazing um, building and environment for our children to, to come and play and, and grow. Uh, well here we are, four months since we moved into this lovely new building. Um, and it's absolutely wonderful. The children have settled in and enjoy playing inside, outside on the decking and down in the play area. I think it's just the, the light airiness of the building. I think today is probably only about the second time we've had the lights on since we've been in. And it's just so light, light and airy. And the space, the children can go from one area to the other without bumping into each other. And it's, it's just the, the whole newness and the brightness of the building. At the end of February when we moved in, we were open every morning and we're now open two extra afternoons a week and hopefully in September we might be up to three, three afternoons a week so we're actually extending our hours to accommodate the children in the area that wish to come here. Um, the children enjoy uh, playing outside on the decking, particularly when it's hot and sunny. Um, today's a little bit on the breezy side but we have managed to be out as well as be in. The, all the areas in this room have been changed two or three times. We've got the computer area, and the numeracy area and the lovely wall charts. Um, so we're, we're getting there. We're still settling in and still finding new areas to um, develop. We had our Ofsted inspection arrive uh, two weeks ago and she was very pleased with it and we went from satisfactory to a good. All the children we've got going this year, which is 12 of them, are all going to Nantes School. We've got the links between the school and the transition is good between the school and ours because the teacher bit visits. So yeah, it's all looking good and our numbers are up and our waiting lists are going up all the time. And hopefully by the end of the first term here, we'll all be raring to go with new children and new buildings.